Hi, in this tutorial we are going to solve a question to practice drawing Newman projections. The question asks, draw Newman projection of the most stable conformer of 2-methylbutane through C2 front and C3 backbone. By rotating C3 clockwise or counterclockwise, draw the least stable conformer. For both conformers, indicate the existing interactions and resulting strains. In order to solve this question, we need to draw skeletal structure of uh, 2-methylbutane. And you know, in butane we have four carbons, so let's start from here. First carbon, second carbon, third carbon, and fourth carbon. And we know that we have a methyl group at the second position. So let's draw here the methyl. And let's number the carbons. So this has to be number one, this has to be number two, this has to be number three, and number four. And if we translate this skeletal structure into a little bit uh, condensed structure, we can see what kind of groups or atoms on uh, carbon 2 and what kind of atoms or groups on carbon 3. Uh, for that reason, let's uh, go to uh, another form of drawing, which is a condensed structure. Let's write this number 1. We have CH3. Then we have a CH here, then we have CH3, this methyl group at second position, then the third position is CH2, and the last position is number 4, CH3. If you look at number 2, let's again uh, number atoms so we can see easily. This is number 1. Let's write it in with black. So this is number one, this is number two, number three, and number four. So, uh, the most stable conformer of uh, any organic molecule should be always a staggered conformer. So let's draw here a staggered conformer template. And here, uh, let's draw another template. And uh, for the least stable conformer, we can draw here another template. So let's start from here. Um, the front carbon, which should be a line in the middle of the circle, and the circle should be the back carbon, number 3. So uh, from number 2, we know that we have two methyl groups and a hydrogen. So you can maybe draw a template something like this. So let's say that this is hydrogen, this is methyl, and this is also methyl. So this uh, choice is uh, arbitrary. You can place methyl here, hydrogen here. It doesn't matter. So right now we need to draw a, um, we need to draw a Neumann projection for 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 a staggered conformer. Then we know that uh, in staggered conformer from the back carbon uh, we should. Uh, should have three groups coming out of and uh, let's look at what are those groups we have two hydrogen uh, on carbon 3 on the back carbon and a methyl group so arbitrarily I'm just placing methyl group uh, here and hydrogens here so you can exchange methyl uh, and hydrogen group but uh, right now what I'm trying to do I'm trying to uh, draw the first uh, first staggered conformer, then I need to decide whether this conformer is the most stable or not. So let's look at, uh, we have here uh, methyl methyl uh, 60 degree uh, dihedral angle uh, between two methyls on the uh, second and third carbon. So definitely this is a gauche interaction. So let's write here uh, what kind of interactions we have. So let's say this is Gauche interaction, and also here we have methyl methyl groups. The interaction has to be gauche. And apart from these two interactions, uh, we don't have any uh, visible interaction for this conformer. And uh, let's imagine that uh, we can rotate uh, this methyl group uh, from the back carbon 120 degree 
and all the atoms on the back carbon or groups on the back carbon should uh, sh should be rotated by 120 degree do we get a more stable conformer uh, for example let's draw here the ones that I'm talking about so let's keep the front carbon same so fr from the front carbon uh, hydrogen should come down and two methyl should go this way up and we see that we have to move metal here when we move, move metal here uh, hydrogen has to move here from the back carbon hydrogen and the other hydrogen has to move back to the place of metal and here uh, we can see that we don't have any more two uh, gauche interaction between metal groups we have only one interaction definitely this uh, conformer is more stable than this one so we can conclude that this is the most stable conformer okay let's write here what kind of uh, interactions we have and what kind of strains we have this is we you know uh, gauche interaction gauche interaction and uh, what else we don't have any more interaction so gauche interaction always uh, causes steric strain so we have one steric strain because of the gauche interaction between methyl group and the name of this conformer we say stagger co staggered conformer and uh, if you want to be more specific it is called Gauche conformer because metal metal is 60 degree apart from each other okay the next step by using the most stable conformer we have to draw by rotating back carbon either clockwise or counterclockwise six, uh, 60 or sometimes like more uh, to get the least stable conformer in order to do that uh, let's just uh, erase this one a little bit further we can draw it so let's let's draw it here we we say that we, we are going to keep uh, the front carbon the same we have to rotate the back carbon so front carbon we have a hydrogen coming down and a methyl group on the right and another metal group on the left side and if you look at the back carbon uh, how can we generate uh, the least stable uh, eclipse conform conformer by either rotating uh, 60 degree clockwise or counterclockwise uh, in order to do that uh, in order to do that we have to move each group from the back carbon 60 degree so that we can get eclipse conformer but when we are doing this uh, don't forget the least stable conformer is always uh, something that the bulky groups like methyl methyl uh, are in eclipse interaction so I am envisaging that this methyl if it comes back behind this methyl group this will be most probably the least stable conformer so I am rotating the back carbon counterclockwise 60 degree here then we can generate the least stable conformer so let's write here CH3 and when we rotate back carbon counterclockwise 60 degree this hydrogen will move behind this metal group so there is going to be a hydrogen here and and definitely uh, uh, definitely uh, this hydrogen here is going to be behind this hydrogen so this is going to be eclipse conformer so let's write here we have an eclipse conformer this is eclipse conformer and in eclipse conformer all we have is eclipse interaction eclipsed interaction and in eclipse interactions uh, we might have two type of uh, strain if we have two bulky groups together that causes steric strain and let's say this is we have here steric strain and also in addition to steric strain there is always a torsional strain uh, 
between uh, methyl groups or any groups when uh, they are in eclipse interaction so let's write here we have also torsional strain and here this should be mostly torsional strain because hydrogen is not a bulky group torsional strain and here hydrogen hydrogen has to be only torsional strain so uh, this is the least uh, stable conformer and this is the most stable conformer uh, if we would like to see them in 3d how they are going to look like the first conformer uh, which we have two gauche interaction you can see here uh, this is the front c2 this is the back c2 you can manipulate the models this way and definitely we have two uh, methyl methyl gauche interaction which is not the most stable conformer but if we move uh, this methyl group here in in the position of hydrogen which we can show it here it's here so this is the most stable conformer you can see we have only one gauche interaction and in addition to that let's show you the least stable conformer which is when we move this methyl behind this methyl group we have an eclipse conformation this is an eclipse conformer between methyl methyl we have torsional strain plus uh, steric strain between methyl and hydrogen we have mostly torsional strain uh, between hydrogen and hydrogen only we have torsional strain thank you so much for watching